Hi, my name's Ellie and I'm a trainee solicitor in the employment department at Stevenson Solicitors. I have worked within the department now for almost five years and I've been at Stevenson's for the same amount of time. Um, today I'm going to be speaking to you a little bit about our no and no fee option that we offer in the team and how we're able to assist clients through that funding method. In the employment department at Stevenson's, we offer assistance to clients via what's called a damages-based agreement. So a damages-based agreement effectively is a no win no fee. Um, a no win no fee allows us to assist clients with their employment claims without them having to pay any upfront costs. So what this means is if we are able to succeed with the claim or secure settlement on behalf of a client, all we will do is retain a certain amount of compensation that we're able to secure. So the client will not be required to pay any fees upfront. Under the damages based agreement, we will either assist you with proceedings at the employment tribunal or we'll assist you with settlement negotiations. That will entirely depend on what sort of assistance you require. The only thing that's not covered by the agreement is disbursements, which we'll discuss a little bit later on in some more detail. We assist clients with a number of different types of claims under the no and no fee agreements. So this includes claims for constructive dismissal, for example, unfair dismissal, discrimination or whistleblowing complaints. We can also assist clients under the no and no fee by negotiating an exit package with their employment. So this is sometimes referred to as a settlement agreement. This situation can arise when a client is at a stage where their employment is untenable and they don't wish to continue with their employment. This can often save stress and time when it comes to employment tribunal proceedings. Under the damages based agreement, once your case is concluded or alternatively we're able to secure settlement on your behalf, we'll retain up to 35% of any settlement or compensation we're able to retain. Um, it will depend on the merits of your case and also the value of your case as to what exact percentage we'll retain, but it'll never be any more than 35. In terms of the VAT payable when it comes to the no and no fee, this is included within the 35%, although VAT currently stands at a rate of 20%, there'll be no additional amount of money to be paid when it comes to VAT. Earlier on, I mentioned that disbursements aren't covered under the no and no fee. To explain what disbursements are, they are any legal fees we might incur not including our fees in the running of your case. Under the no and no fee, the only disbursements we would possibly incur in employment tribunal matters would be for barristers costs. However, we would always try and ensure that it didn't get as far as an employment tribunal hearing. This means by accepting our assistance under the damages based agreement, it's very unlikely that you would incur any disbursements in the running of your case. In any event, if we did incur any disbursements or if we were at risk of incurring any disbursements in your case, we would let you know well in advance so there were no hidden costs or surprises. Once you sign the agreement and we've reviewed your documents, we will then pass your case to one of the solicitors in the team. Following that, you can expect that that solicitor will act in your best interest throughout proceedings and attempt to get the best result for you as possible. We'll also ensure that we comply with our regulatory duties under the Solicitor's Code of Conduct. This is otherwise known as a costs award in the employment tribunal. However, in employment tribunals, both parties are normally responsible for their own costs, which means in taking the case under the no and no fee, it's unlikely that you're gonna be in a position where you have to pay for the other party's costs. Once we've sent your agreement to you to sign, you can either set, sign it electronically and send it back to us, or you can sign it by way of e-sign. 
if you don't have access to those facilities or if you don't have access to a scanner or a printer, we'll send you a copy of the agreement in the post to sign and return with a free post envelope. Once you've accepted your case, it will be passed to one of the solicitors in the team. All of our solicitors have an array of experience in dealing with different types of employment tribunal claims, so you can be sure that we'll act in your best interest. Once you've sent the agreement back and it's been assigned to one of the solicitors in the team, they will review your documents and advise you as to the strengths and merits of your case. At the same time, they'll also give you a better understanding as to the value of your claim and this will allow you to understand how your case will progress going forward. I hope you found this information today useful and if you feel that your case might qualify for a no win no fee within the employment team, please feel free to contact any of our advisors who will be happy to help you further.